In this uh, sheet we're going to look at calculating uh, returns, both simple returns and continuously compounded returns. The data set is the FTSE 100 index observed monthly, so it's a monthly frequency from September 1989 uh, through to into the 1990s. But I'll concentrate on the uh, top end of the uh, time series to do the calculations. Firstly, how do we calculate simple returns? Well, what we want is the proportionate rate of change in the uh, returns, the price data, uh, uh, expressed as a percentage. And uh, this cell here, C13, contains this formula. And uh, as you can see from the highlighting in color here, it, it uses both cells B13 and B12 firstly calculates the difference between these two, so that's the change from one month to the next month, and then divides by the price at the start of the period. So this is the proportionate rate of change uh, in the uh, FTSE 100 index from one month to the next month. And if we multiply the result by 100, it will be expressed as a percentage. And so we get the value minus 4.914 as the first, uh, the first monthly change. Now the continuously compounded uh, return uh, is calculated in a slightly different way, but it uses the same cells. So the same uh, information is being used to calculate the return. This time it's the ratio between the value, uh, the current value of the FTSE 100 index and its value in the previous period. So you take the ratio of these two uh, prices and then you calculate the natural logarithm of that ratio. So this is expressed in, uh, it uses the Excel formula LN, which means take the natural logarithm of everything that's inside the brackets uh, and again multiplies the result by 100 uh, to express the result as a percentage change. Now I can also <coughs> use that formula in reverse to see that if I can calculate what the uh, value of the price is if I know what the previous price was and the current return. Now in order to do that, I need to know something about another kind of function, this time the exponential function. It has a very close relationship to the logarithmic function, which is shown in this box here. So if I take uh, a number x, and then I take its natural logarithm, I get a new number y. Then if I reverse that procedure by uh, implementing the exponential function exp. If I take the exponential function of y, I will get, I will return to the value x. Another way of uh, writing this is that x is the number e raised to the power of y. e is a special number whose uh, a value is 2.718, uh, correct to three decimal places, but um, it can be expressed to many more decimal places. Just to show you that this works, look at this small table here. I've got some specific values for x uh, in the left-hand column. In the um, second column, I've got the logarithm of x. You'll see that the uh, formula for uh, cell H13 refers to G13 and then in the uh, column to the right of that I take the exponent of the uh, result in column H13. So I'm just taking the exponent of a logarithm and what happens then is that I get back to the same number. Down at the bottom of the table uh, there are some specific uh, results. One shows that um, when I use the number e itself, its logarithm is 1. In fact, uh, natural logarithm uses 2.718 as its base. And then when I, uh, I take e to the power 1, the result is 2.718. And then for the number 1, 
uh, its logarithm is zero and uh, the um, number e raised to the power zero indeed any number raised to the power zero gives the result one so our the inverse relationship between the logarithms and uh, exponents is shown in this table so going back here to our um, uh, calculation what we've do, done is we've taken the cell b12 which is the previous month's value we've taken the return we've divided it by a hundred be because the number uh, in, in col numbers in column D are percentages not pure numbers uh, so we divide by a hundred and then we take the exponent of that and we, 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 we have the same result uh, as we have in, in column B13. In other words, I've managed to reproduce the value of the um, FTSE 100 index knowing its value in the previous month and the return. I now copy down these cells to uh, complete the table. Now, I've made a mistake here because I've copied uh, across the formula from cell uh, D13 into E13 and I've uh, uh, basically messed it up. The way to recover that is to step back and you step back to the previous um, situation by hitting Control and Z. That recovers the formula. Now I go across and I copy down. So I don't copy across, I just select both cells and then copy down and I complete my um, table and you can see that the differences between the simple returns and the continuously compounded returns are relatively small uh, which shows that by and large they don't tend to differ all that much.